हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो विद दिस स्लाइड वी विल स्टार्ट विद एन आर रेडियो फ्रेम एस एस बी एंड बीम मैनेजमेंट बेसिकली वॉट वी विल बी सींग ओवर हेयर इज हाउ द बीम मैनेजमेंट इज डन विद द हेल्प ऑफ सिंक्राइजेशन सिग्नल ब्लॉक ट्रांसमिशन एंड हाउ दे आर मैप ऑन टू द एन आर रेडियो फ्रेम एज वी हैव सीन इन द अर्लियर स्लाइड दैट एन इज इक्वल टू zero when it's like uh, zero to three gigahertz when it's three to six gigahertz and equal to zero or maybe one and that basically decides the position of ssb on a particular ofdml symbol so here we can see that this is a, a one radio frame where we can see multiple ssb uh, blocks and what signifies uh, sync blocks are basically they represent one cell and the, this is basically representing how they are mapped onto the ofdml symbols and this is on the another dimension we can see the sub carrier spacing it depends on the configuration done by us uh, with, by the known parameter sub carrier spacing which can be defined by operator as per the frequency band they are using its sub uh, 3 gigahertz or its up to 6 gigahertz or above 6 gigahertz it could be a like uh, another uh, band and it depends on how you are basically configuring this so here we can see that if we take an example of eight beams and eight beams are represented by ssb index 0 to 7 they have a particular ssb on that they are having ssb index 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 which are representing eight beams and here we have two ues which are basically decoding these beams and seeing that which beam is better for them so you can see over here the beam number 1 is the most having the high, uh, good signal strength for ue1 and beam number 7 is having the best signal strength for ue number 2 so here we can see that that for ue number 1 the beam number 1 is good and for uh, ue2 the beam number 7 is good so ue detect the best beam and re uh, report on specific prat resource with respect to the ssb index with respect to the downlink beam and direction to transmit is decided by angle of arrival and angle of departure is calculated to trans to transmit between the g node b and the ue all these procedure depend on csi measurement in downlink and csi report in uplink by ue so ue basically measures uh, csi rs uh, signal strength and uh, other uh, quality uh, parameters like sin r rs rp rs uh, rq threshold and all these threshold hysteresis are defined and accordingly the ue basically camp on to a particular cell then particular beam so when ue transmit reference signal from g node b can be ssb block with index or csi rs so both these configuration can be used to make measurements it could be ssb block with index or csi with reference signaling so this is basically the uh, two ways of measuring the different beams and camping on to it so reference signal from ue in uplink is srs so in the uplink when ue transmit to the g node b and wants to talk with it with a uh, with respect to a particular beam it talks with srs so srs is also enabled by a particular parameter srs enable which can uh, be configured by operator as per the yes or no so here we can see the one radio frame is having a different uh, symbol symbols and one frame is 1 millisecond and 1 millisecond is having 14 ofdml symbols and these 14 ofdml symbols are used for ss b transmission and ssb transmission re uh, repeat time can be defined by us and this can be defined by uh, ssb periodicity which could be x millisecond which could be 8 millisecond to 80 millisecond accordingly and what actually ssb have we will be studying in next uh, some uh, next slide uh, what the what is the content Uh, of ssb basically ssb is having pss and sss to calculate the pci for a particular cell and it has a mib mib uh, master information block and system information block system information block is not 
uh, every time uh, uh, transmitted it is transmitted on a particular time intervals but ssb are transmitted at a particular interval which can be defined by the, us plus their position can be defined by us so position is depend on n equal to 0 or 1 is as per the frequency band and the periodicity can be defined by us as per the parameter so ssb pbch block which is carrying mib information also can have a block power offset to calculate because this is the power calculation formula which is used for calculating that which beam is good and how which cell is good so there is a ssb sub carrier spacing which is equal to sub carrier spacing which should be equal to sub carrier spacing overall and csi rs periodicity also less frequent than ss and can be defined so basically we are reducing as we know that uh, nr is uh, lean carrier it is having low uh, reference signaling and uh, basically to reduce the interference and that is the reason that we are using csi rs and other types of uh, signaling to basically reduce the reference signaling and improve the performance so this is like overview of uh, what are the parameters and what are the uh, what frames look like and how ssb is uh, mapped onto this frame with a particular time interval and with a particular position and that, that all these parameters are definable like number of beams that can be defined this is a pa definable parameter and you can define the number of beams and here we are talking about eight beams and how the ue decodes and talk to the uh, g node b in uplink srs is used and in downlink it could be ssb block index or csirs so it's a very interesting slide which uh, gives an overview of how the beam management is work and how the beam forming is working and how the ue is syncing with a particular beam and the angle of arrival and angle of departure is very important because uh, this is the uh, uh, initiation where they know that in what angle UE has to transmit to talk to a particular beam. So let's uh, start with the uh, next uh, slide uh, which is uh, RRC states in NR and this is uh, this is like different from LT because uh, LT is having two RRC states, one is idle, one is connected, but here NR has introduced another RRC state which is called inactive. So uh, basically why it was required that they want to uh, put a, another RRC state, uh, introducing another RRC state called inactive. Uh, there was a need of in between state for short connection sending little data with keeping S1 connection up. So they want a state for limited data transmission with s1 connection set up on the back end so what it supports it supports short burst of data followed by long inactivity means they don't want to go into the connected mode but they want to send some short data which can be sought uh, which can be sent through an rrc inactive state so drs leading to low pa low uh, to power saving it will save power it will reduce interference plus uh, it will uh, make a small uh, little data to be sent on a particular uh, time intervals or they can send as per the requirement of the application or uh, the ue ue is allowed to move in local area without notifying network this is very important because it can move without going to the connected mode and telling them that yes we have moved from a particular g node b to another g node b because there is an inactive state which is supporting this ran paging with local area no CN signaling, control network signaling not required for this state and this basically gives up more flexibility and dynamicity in terms of uh, in terms of when UE wants to send or receive some little data or very less data from the network. 